Hey there magic one, welcome to your tarot reading for the week. I hope your week has gotten off to a really good start. Before we jump in, I just wanted to let you know that I recently completed the 2022 yearly overview tarot readings. Um, I will pop the playlist up here for you and you might want to jump in and see what the energies are available for you to align your inspired action to so that you can really bring through the meaningful and lasting change you want in your life this year. If you do want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself you can do so at any time you'll find the link to my website down below and you can peruse the kind of offerings that are over there uh, when you are ready uh, to let you know that the doors are always open to the initiation that is my immersive learn tarot journey uh, you can roll at any time and you do get immediate lifetime access to all of the resources which is online learning modules practices um, we've got lots of videos over there and also you get access to me through my private karmic community so it's really great if you want to learn to guide yourself from your own intuition and learn to uncover your own subconscious blocks and beliefs so you know where you might be getting in your own way of really bringing through the change that you want in your life so that's it from me I just wanted to say hi and wish you a week full of love and magic let's head across to your reading now Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for February 21st to the 27th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I have the nine card block here, Gemini, three cards, recent past, three current focus energy, three near future outcome. I have some oracle cards, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck. Uh, this week I am working with the Sacred Creators Oracle. I have the Moonology Oracle card here. Uh, the Moon Child Tarot, the Star Child Tarot, and the Radiant Rider Waite. So, Gemini, it is time for change for you, and I feel this is going down in your work career, or maybe for some of you that are studying, this could be for you as well. So, let's jump in. The oracles, the first ones out was Nourish the Sacred Feminine and Integrate Your Knowing. Okay, so there is a real indication here that you know you're needing to be guided by your intuition what you're really feeling inside so maybe you've had a feeling for a while of maybe being dissatisfied um, in the job career or study that you know that you're in and you know of course we then need to take the action to to actually bring in the change here so it says integrate your knowing now the knowing is the intuition that is associated with the sacred feminine. So it's saying acknowledge what you've been feeling and now it's time to actually take some action. Okay. The next one out is a new start is coming. New moon. So this is associated with new beginnings. I'm feeling into the fool's journey, trusting the energy of the rebel heart and moving forward to something new, potentially a new role, um, new clarity, new inspiration or a breakthrough in your career or job. I've got an ace, ace of swords down here, which is all perfect for this type of reading. Now the eight of pentacles is your lead energy here and this is known as the worker card. So I really feel that we are in that realm. You know, the eight of pentacles really says that, you know, you're, you're ready to put some hard work and effort in, but you're really wanting the returns and the results from it. I feel like where you are currently, you've been doing that, you've been putting in the work, you've been doing your part, but there's a sense that you're unfulfilled in some way. Now it could be because you know, even though you've been working hard, you, you're just not really, you know, enjoying what you're doing. The fulfillment isn't there. The happiness isn't there. Maybe for some of you, the money isn't there, although I do have the, the Ten of Pentacles here. This may indicate what you are seeking, a greater sense of stability, a greater sense of financial achievement. But being the Ten of Pentacles, it can also indicate, you know, a completion in the current role or the current pathway where you are in work, career or study. So jumping into the tarot here, Gemini, I've got the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Okay, so this is no new kind of uh, intuition or sort of enlightenment about your career. I think you've been feeling this for a while, Gemini. And it could be specifically, you know, Three of Pentacles because 
you're not thrilled about maybe the team that you work in, maybe there are some interrelationship issues here with the co with your colleagues, uh, that type of thing. That's what I'm feeling with the Three of Pentacles. Or it could just be that also that you've been working really hard, but you're not getting the promotion or the recognition. The Three of Pentacles is somebody who's kind of in that apprentice position. The Page of Swords is very, you know, young energy as well. And maybe you're still being treated as the junior or, you know, not really being able to, to progress up the ranks to kind of team leader, leader, supervisor, manager, that type of thing. And you're feeling stuck and you're like, well, how long do I need to, to wait here for better pay or more responsibility? And you're feeling like your hands are tied in this role. And the hanged man is waiting, you know, specifically for that enlightenment of how do I move forward here. Now, the page of swords for me is this um, winds of change energy. It's like, well, I've kind of been waiting here for long enough. And I'm coming to the, to the conclusion that I'll actually still be waiting and nothing's really happening. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. And the page of swords can also be a communication you might be actually communicating, hey, you know, I'm not getting my needs met. I'm thinking about moving on or something like that. Generally with a hanged man, they talk about dying the death of the hanged man. That's because the hanged man is number 12 in the major arcana and the death card is number 13. So it's almost like you're resisting an ending here, right? Ten of pentacles, maybe leaving. You know, we like it to, we like to think then it's going to change and transform in that situation. But you know, generally, unless there's some kind of intervention here, things will continue as they are. And I'm really feeling into completion for you, but a new start is coming. So in the current focus energy, Gemini, I have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Now, this is a Sagittarian energy for me. The center of the reading is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is somebody who is awakening to the fact that they can't really achieve their wishes, right? The Nine of Cups, the next card is the card of wish fulfillment, or the Ten of Cups, you know, feeling blessed, you know, I've got the work-life balance, I'm really enjoying my job, you know, it's stable and comfortable and providing everything I want. So it feels to me like you've kind of gotten as far as you can here and you're not able to progress or push through or maybe it is just a lot of hard work and it's draining and it's not being balanced with the fact that I'm actually enjoying the people I work with or the type of work. So you're kind of getting in touch with that sacred feminine, your intuition, the moon energy here and getting ready to maybe move on to find that missing piece, okay? The Four of Swords here is a card of pause. I think that you're kind of taking that moment to, to get a plan in place. You're looking for the clarity. You're looking for the breakthrough of how to actually, you know, make this transition to, to different roles. I'm also really feeling that some of you are burnt out and maybe, you know, when we are working really hard and especially if we're not enjoying what we're doing, you can get into those cycles of sickness when our immunity dips as well. The sacred feminine is about, you know, rest, just being, having a pause, being able to recover, you know, being in that kind of beautiful energy where we're not pushing all the time, we're not having to do, do, do. So I'm feeling like some of you are needing a break as well. Um, I always see the Three of Swords here in the Four of Swords, so there could have been some kind of disappointment here, you know, and it could be around fa um, false promises or, you know, there could even have been some kind of dispute. We do have justice in the reading here as well. So at the moment, you're really, you know, trying to build up that, that confidence, that courage in order to progress on here. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. Now, this could actually be a messenger of opportunity coming your way. You know, when we start kind of opening up the conversation for to the universe, like I'm, I'm moving on, I'm, I'm ready, I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to do my bit. It's amazing how opportunities can come our way. And if you are actively seeking that, I feel that the Knight of Wands could be the offer of the Ace of Wands here, something that feels more in alignment for you, something that you feel more passionate about, something that you feel can take you to the next chapter of your life and have you manifesting those hopes, dreams and wishes that you can't in this role here. So I feel like someone's coming in with an offer for you and that is going to be the breakthrough Ace of Swords that brings this to justice for you, okay? 
Um, Justice is the card of Libra. You may also be dealing with a Libra, but I feel that you are going to need to have this honest, direct, clear communication with your employer, your boss, mental manager, whoever you report to, and tell them, hey, things have been feeling out of balance for me here. You know, actually, I just kind of put my feelers out there and amazing opportunities come in and I'm taking it. And that could be your victory, Ace of Swords, you know, your breakthrough. But I also get the feeling here, Gemini, with the Seven of Wands here that, you know, there might be some resistance or some pushback on you and you might be in a contract. The justice energy here can be, you know, that you're needing to break a contract and your employer may hold you accountable in some way. And it might just be that you have to work out a notice period or it might be, you know, that there could be a loss of, um, you know, a loss of holiday pay or something like that for breaking a contract. So that could be something that you may wanting to try and consider in your timing and your negotiations as well. Just because there's opportunities come in, you know, it doesn't mean to say that you have to, you know, necessarily drop everything you might be able to negotiate so that you can, you know, mitigate the situation, keep your current employer happy so that you can get what you need, the money, Ten of Pentacles, get your victory and you also get to move on to the new. So that's what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling a, a new start, which is exciting. A new start is coming in the work sector. You're getting those breakthroughs, downloads or insights, but you are going to need to go through that conversation when that opportunity comes in. If the opportunity hasn't come to you yet, I would say start looking because you need to create the pathway for the universe to be able to bring that in for you. Yeah, the tower here. Yeah, I feel that, you know, there is this potential for very sudden change in it. And it could be, I mean, I think just manage this carefully as well. Maybe don't do any of your communicating until you have a solid offer on the table. Because otherwise there could be a tower moment where your employer gets gets wind of this. And, you know, the, you know they, they can then have the power to, to create something for you. Like you know, end a contract or something like that. So we want to afford, avoid sudden unprepared change of the tower as well. I see that and make sure that there is a stable plan in place and you can, you can definitely achieve that temperance. That's the, the calm after the storm, the balancing or healing energy. That is also a Sagittarius energy. So it could be that a Sagittarius brings in that offer for you, but the, the temperance energy is also about the right ingredients, getting together the right ingredients so that you are the perfect candidate for that new opportunity when it comes in. So it's a time to address any skills gaps if you need to. But also it's sort of saying that you really need to be mindful of your timing here and just make sure that, you know, you're doing it in, in the, best, the best interests of yourself, okay? Sometimes we think, oh, I'm going to try and give them extra notice. I'm going to do the right thing. But that can actually put you at a real disadvantage here is what I'm feeling, okay? There could be a severing of a contract early and you might be left without money for a few weeks. So you really want to be mindful and operating in your own in your own interest. That is my uh, interpretation of that. Follow what you're feeling guided to. Temperance really is about that divine guidance. And it, ultimately it says that when all is said and done, Gemini, you will be feeling in a greater place of balance mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, and kind of out of this, this sort of burnout cycle of working and pushing really hard, but not getting a lot back from it. And ultimately, you need to nourish that sacred feminine, take some time out to rest, just to be, and just to kind of let things expand and, um, and play out as well. Gemini, that's what I have for you. I am going to leave it here and I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Keeping in mind as a general reading for the collective and may or may not be for you. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Gemini. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.